Hey guys, it's Bart Johnson here, NAB 2016. I am here at the Black Magic booth with Kendall. And Kendall, we've got uh, something really cool to talk about today that you guys just announced here at NAB. Now, the Ursa Minis are out, they're in people's hands, both the 4K and the 4.6K. We're, yeah. we're running a 4.6K right now. But you guys have uh, some new software and operating system yeah. that you're gonna be releasing that's gonna change a lot of the functionality of this. Can you tell me about that? Sure, so what we did this year, uh, we added a whole new S, like you said, and what we wanted to do is make the user experience that much better, that much easier to get to menus without having to go through sub-menus, you know, layers of menus just to get to your white balance, things like that. So on a heads-up display here, we have things like iris control, shutter angle, uh, ISO, white balance, of course. You can click on those very easily. I'll just give you an example here. If we go to shutter angle, and you're gonna get your shutter angles down here. Now the great thing about this is uh, when it comes to shutter angles, you can set the camera up depending on what country you're in. Uh, you're in. Here in the US would be at 60 hertz. So what we can do here is we can set this up so that you can go and do um, shutter angle on here so you can get reduced flicker depending on what you're, okay. you know, what you're setting up there. Uh, that's just you know one of the examples on the heads up display there. So you're taking full access and full advantage of the touch screen and being able to instead of going in through the the menu system and digging up and pulling these things yep. if i go to white balance and tap my white balance i can adjust my white balance there you go if i go and tap my iso i can adjust my iso exactly and one of the things that i love about this is i can change my white balance while still seeing my image so i'm not kind of guessing and then checking and then going back yes but everything is there right in front of you which is fantastic when i saw this on monday morning i was quite happy to see yeah, this. yeah it's, it's just easier to use it's just slicker and then of course there's a number of presets depending on the menu you're on so you can hit a preset or you can do things like here you can do your custom sliders and it'll set up a custom button for you there or if you're shooting under tungsten lights you hit this fluorescent lights it's going to give you some good examples and then you can always adjust that on the fly very nice yeah so is there anything else new coming with the uh, the OS, or is most of it uh, utilizing the functions of that touch screen and, and making it, I mean, obviously everything is making it easier for the user yep. uh, to do things quickly and, and tweak their image. Exactly, and that's some of the quick changes. If I hit the menu button on here, you're gonna see we have things like record. The, this whole interface it's is gonna be different. But even this is completely new from, from what, you're used what to. it currently yeah. is on there. That's so right. it's a complete yeah. operating system overhaul, it really is. They like, wrote it from the ground up basically. And as you know, the old interface is nice. It is. Uh, there's nothing wrong with it. It's just they wanted to make it that much better and they really have. I've had a chance to kind of run through some of these uh, options here. All the record options are here. Of course you can do RAW, Man. ProRes, DNX, HR on here. You have so a you're, not, of you're not toggling settings. through stuff anymore. You can just, just tap and hit just all, tap the, and all hit the ones it on you here. want right there. Very quickly to, to use. You can do different setups on here. Uh, your presets, this is a nice option too. So if you do go in and customize white balance, shutter angle, uh, iris control, you can set these up for different displays. Uh, the LUTs is a new thing that's really cool. So you can go oh, into yeah, DaVinci we'll Resolve and you can do a lookup table. You can set that LUT and you can save up to six of them right on a CFast card load it right into the camera, and then of course you can have all your LUTs in there. So you can have a custom look for a project that you know is kind of yeah. what you're gonna see in your final grade. Exactly. You can load that into here and you can view with your custom LUT while still recording in the in the film profile, right? So then, That's right. you know, the idea is that when you go in and you start applying that LUT in post, it's gonna look like what you had on yeah. your screen. For, yeah, for and I mean, as an example here, we have, you know, a documentary black and white, so you can hit that you hit your check mark and then it will set up that lot for you. That's fantastic. It's that easy. Yeah. So you can create these custom lots and load up to six of them in there. Yep. Yeah. That's awesome. And then you could take it, if you did load this on, on a particular camera and then let's say a month from now you have two other cameras that are coming into the shot, you can take that LUT from the camera and, and load transfer, it into the others. Yeah, transfer so they're over. all going to match. And, yeah. and that'd be great for, for clients as well who, you know, sometimes we want to shoot log or, you know, film as you guys call it but that's not the greatest looking image directly out of the camera, it's kind of flat, and so if you want to yeah. show a client something that's punchy and looks looks great, more like the final product they're gonna get, um, using one of those LUTs is gonna allow you to do that. Exactly. Yeah. That's fantastic. Yeah. Now, when are you guys uh, releasing this, and uh, what what is it gonna take to get a hold of it? Is there any cost affiliated with it or nope, associated no, with it? No or? cost, it'll be free, and it'll okay. be later in the year, so they're still working out some of the kinks on it, but it'll be later in the year. Yeah. Perfect, but it looks like the prototype version, at least from, from what I've seen, has some amazing features that, um, for a professional user like myself, I'm really looking forward to the, the new interface and checking yeah. it out. So that's very cool. Good.
All right. Well, thanks a lot, guys. Uh, that is a look at the new OS coming for the uh, the Ursa Minis. And uh, actually, is this going to be available for Ursa as well, the big brother, or is it uh, just a mini? Not in the beginning. Not okay. in the beginning. Maybe down the road, but in the beginning, it'll just be the Ursa, cam uh, Ursa Mini cameras. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, there you go. Ursa Minis right now, but uh, keep an eye on it, guys. And if you are an Ursa Mini owner, you're really going to want to pick up this uh, this update because from what I've seen, it, it looks fantastic. So stay tuned, guys. I'll have a lot more coming from the show. 